California at Utah is an unexpected battle of Pac-12 unbeatens. It's hard to know exactly what to make of Cal, but in Jared Goff, they've got an NFL quarterback who's the catalyst for a very explosive offense. Meanwhile, Utah's getting a lot of love for that beatdown of Oregon two weeks ago. Could the Utes be a playoff contender? With a big time defense, a good running game with Devontae Booker, and a playmaking senior quarterback in Travis Wilson? Absolutely. In an era of explosive offense, get ready for a good old fashioned defensive slugfest when Northwestern and Michigan meet. The unbeaten Wildcats have given up only three touchdowns in five games. Michigan has played good defense too. They're allowing 7.6 points a game. The Jim Harbaugh rebuild in Ann Arbor seems to be way ahead of schedule. And while it's too early to compare Northwestern to the 1995 Rose Bowl bunch, both teams look like they could be factors in the Big Ten race. The status of Florida State running back Dalvin Cook's hamstring is an important question as the Seminoles get set to host Miami. He's been the lone consistent performer on an inconsistent offense. Meanwhile, coming off a discouraging loss to Cincinnati, the pressure is on Miami to beat Florida State for the first time in Al Golden's tenure. Miami under Golden is 0-12 against teams that finish ranked in the final top 25. The Red River rivalry has faded in national relevance over the last few years. But Oklahoma is unbeaten and surging and looks like a potential contender in the Big 12 race and maybe in the playoff chase as well. Meanwhile, Texas is 1-4 for the first time in almost forever, and the Longhorns' struggles have been frustrating and fascinating at the same time. Charlie Strong seems safe for now at Texas, but the Longhorns had better show up Saturday at the Cotton Bowl. That close loss at Clemson last week might pay dividends for Notre Dame. The Irish got behind big early and then roared back. Quarterback Deshaun Kaiser played really well. The comeback fell short, but it could breed confidence. Navy is confident, and they should be. The midshipmen are unbeaten, and they're playing well. And that option offense led by quarterback Keenan Reynolds is as difficult to prepare for as ever.